We're on YouTube. I don't know if we're on Facebook yet or not. Yeah, we are. We're on both. Hi, guys. I hope everybody had a wonderful week. We're back for Week Talk Wednesday. Yes, it's that time again, if you can believe it. I hope everybody can hear us. We have a shop full of people, so we'll try to kind of speak loudly. Yeah. So, um... Today we're going to do Classic Bobs. We get a lot. I got an email this week asking asking us, I wear this bob. What would be a good alternative? I just want to have a little bit of a change. So we're going to do, um, we're going to show you. Um, Not just classic though, really. We decided to, they, to like even do some of the more updated versions. Right. Well, like what I have on. I mean, this yeah, has got a good stack that's to it. This is, a bob. Ig- this is Ignite by uh, John Renault. She's got Eve on. Eve's asymmetrical, but it's still a bob. Um, I mean, because when I used to think of Bob, um, I keep saying low network. Anyway, we're having technical issues. But when I think of a Bob, I always thought of that, what some people call the Dutch boy. <laughs> we're going to start with something kind of like that. Oh, goodness. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So keep in mind, these styles are not for everybody, namely us. So when you look at them, just think of you know yourself in mind, because I'm not that much of a bang Bob person. But we decided it's not about us. It's, it's not about, about the wigs. It's usually about me. <laughs> I try to make it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, but, we're just going to have fun. And we're just going to kind of take our time and talk about them. Um, these are what has sold good for us. Um, obviously, you know, it's not to say that there aren't, you know, other bobs out there that aren't great. Um, but this is what sold well for us. And if you wear a bob and you're a bob person, um, just comment and tell us, you know, hey, I really, you know, I wear this style and it may be something either that we have that we could like highlight or maybe possibly add to our collection. Yeah, absolutely. So just comment what you wear and even put a picture. That'd be even better if you yeah. put a picture. We love pictures. We love hearing from our customers. We love hearing what you've done with your wigs. If you customized it in, in any way or any ideas, we do love that. Yeah, and if you can't hear us, just comment. It's okay. And you we'll, can come on back. Come on back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Like I said, it's kind of crazy in here this morning. But anyway, let's get started. Okay. You ready? This was Kim. Um, her mom is Mimi, who started the shop. This was her, I think, her favorite style. Everybody, everybody got a Corey. Yeah, everybody that came in, it didn't matter if they were like long in the middle of their back, curly, pixie cut short. They left this wig because <laughs> she, it works for it so does. many people. Um. So this is by Noriko, Corey, C-O-R-Y. Um, oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't know if I've had this wig on in probably like eight, eight or ten years. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. <laughs> so just a short. So this has got a cute stack in the back. Um, cute, yeah. I don't know if you can hear her with her turned around, but she's talking about it has a little stack in the back. And that typically is really hard for most people to achieve with their own hair. So that's one feature of this wig that people just absolutely love. The other feature I think that people love is the fact that it's got a light bang. It's not a heavy bang, so it's pretty wispy. Um, it's cute tucked. It has, I mean, the shape of the stack kind of lends to the, if you tuck a lot. Yeah, I always have a piece behind my ear. Uh, but yeah, this is, now, okay, let's talk about what colors do we have on? Okay, these are colors. If you look for Corey by Noriko, you'll never find these colors because we had these specially made for us. Mm-hmm. Um, we're a little spoiled by our manufacturers, and so they kind of do whatever we ask them to, or this company does anyway. So these are two of our best-selling colors in their other styles. I have on Chocolate Frost R, and then Kim has on Creamy Toffee R. And so we decided, since Corey was a best-seller, um, we needed to add some good colors. So we actually added three new colors. We added the two that we have on and Mochaccino R, which is just like a mid-tone, like a dark blonde. Rooted. Yeah, Corey, Corey um, just uh, the normal line of Corey does not come in any root color. So it's right. all, you know, your blonde is not going to have a root and your browns are not going to have a root. So that was, we saw that as a whole for the manufacturer. So we decided we would fill it. Yeah, I think they just, what I call their classic color collection, you yeah. know, just there. And um, they have a couple that are kind of highlighted a little, you know, like the pecan brown. Nothing really kind of streaky or, you know. And this wig comes in two colors that they don't make in very many uh, other styles. It comes in caramel cream and it comes in gold blonde. So if you wear those colors. And uh, medium brown. And medium, medium brown. brown medium brown. Like, 
So um, that, I mean, they, they make this wig in those three colors. So if you wear those colors, you should try for it. You know, if you put this on in like really dark chocolate, you could be Carol Shani. You could, or like with a headband, this could be a great like flapper wig. Yeah. Really kind of, what is that like? was blonde. Yeah, but I want to be a flapper. I want to be yeah. like the great Gatsby. <laughs> I was talking to my mom yesterday about this wig. And she said, um, oh, it's pr the creamy blonde color. That is Doris Day. That's just classic Doris Day. You're right. Day. It is. So, she had that, that. Yeah. They used to make, you remember the one that they made a variation of this? What was that called? Sydney. And it was about oh, the yeah. length of this, but it kind of had a little bit of layering. So that really did look like Doris Day. Because yeah. she had that real full. Yeah. Which I love Doris Day movies. Yeah, Pillow Talk fast. is one of my all favorite movies. All time favorite movies. Okay. Corey. Okay, this is Corey. It's um, cute. It is cute. It's super cute. Like I said, I don't know if I would wear it for myself, but I might. I mean, it's just it, it just works for a whole lot of people. All right, what are we doing next? Let's go to Ellen. Okay. Ellen is by Aesthetica. It's kind of the next um, step of classic bobs. It doesn't have the stack, but it does have a bang. I don't even know what color I'm putting on. 612, I think. Yeah, it's 612. So maybe it's definitely a longer bang. Oh, I'm sorry. Kim, you're not in camera. Oh, on. I'm not. Hey, Peggy. Peggy, you came in. I wasn't here. I heard you looked super, super cute in what you left in. Yes, and that whipped berry. She didn't wear it out. Oh, she didn't? No, she just picked it up. But I've seen it on her. It's cute. Yeah. Okay, this, if I were going to go to a bob for me, first of all, the cap's more comfortable, so I would probably go with this versus Corey. And the bang's longer. The bang's longer. Which is good for me. It's just heavier. Um, it does, the back, has, I mean, it's, it's a little. Maybe a tiny stack. I don't I mean, they can't. They it's can't. it's it, this is the epitome of classic bob to me. Yeah, agreed. So, agreed. and if you wanted, you could wear it down where you had more of a straight thing. Just have to trim it a little bit. I like this color. Just a six with a little highlight. What? Sorry, we're being paid <laughs> off screen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh goodness. Anyway, this is cute. And I have on um, 1226 RT4. Yolanda says something in black. Are you, Do you wear this in black? The Ellen by Aesthetica or was it the Corey? So I think in black, that is definitely the flapper wig. This, this is just cute though. This is a really versatile style for a yeah. lot of different yes. people. I mean, unless you have like a super round face, which I have a very round face. Um, but where it hits, it's it's a good length. The Corey, I think, was a little bit shorter, and mm -hmm. it didn't work well for my round face. Well, and see, I think the Corey worked better for me because mm -hmm. it was a little bit shorter. This length, I think, makes me look like a big round face. It doesn't. It's cute. It's cute. But I like these bangs. I'm not a bang person, but when I put a wig on with bangs like this, it almost makes me want to cut bangs. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good stuff. What's next? Um, you pick, because I picked it. Straight up with a twist. Oh, straight up with a twist. Now... I actually had this wig on. I like this wig, and I put it on, and I have it in red. I think I had it on a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you did. I can't remember. I, I wear it in deepest ruby, and today I'm just going to put on just sunlit chestnut, which is just like a medium brown. And I'm going to put on cappuccino, which is shadow shade 1222, so it does have a dark hybrid root. This is good for people who don't want to bang, which a lot of Bob people don't do bangs either. True. So this one, Raquel does a beautiful job putting the lighter color at the front so that that lace blends in really nicely with your skin tone. Hi, the dark knots. Hi, Jordan Porter. How are you? <gasps> Hi, baby. Um, so this is, yeah, this is, now this, um, we talked to, was it last week or the week? I get confused. On fiber. This wig is a heat defiant fiber. Um, I don't think we've ever curled it. I don't I know why you would. I don't the either. Shape it, of this is so good. Yeah, it works the way it is. Um, I will try to show you the back. So look, again, oh wait. Not really stacked, but not really just plain. It's got some interesting things going on in the back. I love it. Yeah, I do. I mean, too. like I said, I haven't read. And this color is very natural brown. If anybody wants to know, this Sunlit Chestnut RL10-12. Yeah. 
Jordan likes this one. She likes the volume, she says. Yeah. It does have good volume. And that's why this has been one of our best sellers because you can get it out here versus so much up here because it is hand tied. So, and the bang always hangs good. I, I've said this a thousand times. I don't have a very big forehead. So, a lot of times the lace fronts are hard for me, but this one comes away from my forehead and it works. I like it. I like it. What's next? Okay, I picked this time. Um, let's see. Let's do Epic. We we did a whole video dedicated just to Epic. Um, so we probably won't stay long on this one, but this is one of our new ones. This uh, is actually it's the only Gabor that we carry. Yeah, the only one. Um, we just have a lot of wigs, so. Adding a new one is sometimes a process for us. We carry over 150 different styles. So, it's so this is almost like straight up with a twist, just longer, and obviously regular fiber. But it's got just a slight bit of face frame in here. It's got some layer, just a few little baby layers. Pam's here. The other Pam. We have a few Pam's. But this is sweet Pam. Pam it's just daily. here. Hi, Pam. Yeah, we did a whole this this was just a not a lot to be said about this wig because it's just good. It's just good. It's just a good wig. It just it works for so totally many good. people. It's got good volume. Um you can if you don't like a lot of volume, you can get it pretty flat. Um but it's it's a great style. And I've got on um uh, Gabor goes by GL, so it's a GL48, which is just a good rich brown. I don't even know what I have on. I have on the G the S the GL 1526 SS what they call their buttered toast has a little another thing about their shadow shade is the roots not very prominent and I like that a lot yeah this is like a natural blonde that had kind of um, I hate to say dishwater color when yeah. in when in got highlights and so it's got that root the same color of what a medium blonde would be I always like this I do too all right next okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, Christy. let's do the John Renaults. Okay, okay, Christy. This is Christy from John Renault. I'm gonna be putting it on in the 832. This is a 100% hand tied no. wig. Oh yeah, it is. You're right. They have um to me, Kristen and Christy. I always get mixed up because they're real close to the same thing. One's just lace front, machine made, and one is just um. Hey, Jonathan. And one is hand tied, 100% hand tied. Why there? Looks like it's out of the salon color. You're right, Jordan. It does. It technically is. <laughs> I like this way. I like the way first for me. It's um, if you're familiar with the John and line, this wig is a little bit shorter than Cameron. Cameron's also 100% hand tied, but it's just a little bit longer. So Christy is just shorter. Were you here the day um, Elizabeth bought this the other day? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. No, I wasn't. Oh my I wasn't. goodness! I wasn't. She came in and she. We ordered it in a really pretty um, red highlight, and it was just absolutely gorgeous. She wore it out, and she's like, this is my new look. Hi, Chris. I liked it. Thank you for joining us again this week. Oh, I love our regulars. I know. I know. So anyway, this is, it's got the lace front. Like she said, it's 100% fully hand tied, so it's got all the bells and whistles. It's got the monofilament top. The cap is comfortable. It's your, it's your it classic John Renault comfort cap. Of course, their lace um, is called Smart Lace. It's a patented term. It only refers to a John Renault wig. So when you talk about Smart Lace, that is, that is John Renault's beautiful design on the lace front. I feel like sometimes we've talked about the 100% hand tied running smaller. This is comfortable. Like I said, it's the first time I put it on. I actually may consider getting this. It is comfortable. It cuts. Co covers more on the sides, which typically mm -hmm. that 100% mm -hmm. hand tied. I have a really big problem I mean, this getting comes all the way down. Yeah, it does. It does. Now I just have to decide what color. Did I we want. show the back? No. So this is a little bit longer, more classic looking. So it's just oh, I like this. Why have you not ever told me to put this wig on? How long have you had it now? Well, it doesn't matter. You don't do what I do anyway, so <laughs> probably would not. That happen. is not true. <laughs> when you tell me to eat a cookie, I eat a cookie. <laughs> You're, yeah, you're so good. <laughs> Why well, tell you not to eat a cookie? You eat a cookie. That's true. That's true. <laughs> oh, okay. So we right. only have one more we're going to talk about, and this is uh, Cody from Amore. Right. Um, they make Cody in two different caps, also. Right. They make Cody and Cody XO. Cody XO is their line that they've designed for alopecia. 
uh, patient. So it's got it, it's got the really nice stretchy cap. So it feels yeah. like it's hand tied, but you can see it's actually weft sewn. So you get the benefit of hand tied for comfort, but you don't get the cost that goes along with that. So typically a fully hand tied synthetic wig is you're going to start at 450 and go up from there. Um, and Cody is not anywhere close to that. So. It has these little silicone um, pieces too, so that if you do use maybe some double sided tape, you could tape to that, or it just has a little bit more grip. So if you don't have any hair at all, it would probably just grip to your scalp better right. and without using any kind of tape or anything. I don't have um, to read that. Oh yeah, she's saying that she comes by her hard headedness, honest. Who's that? Jordan. Oh, Jordan. She's saying I'm hard-headed, y'all. Y'all just don't know. Okay, I speaking of this cap, which we didn't cover. We kind of covered this in our cap construction video. I don't know how well this is doing for them, but it seems like it might be a little warm. Um, yeah, it's not going to be. It's not going to have the breathability that the open cap system is going to have. And so. it's, this mesh is thicker than like the the one I have on. So right. I don't know. I don't. I don't push it. I sometimes forget that we have it because. Um, it just works. So here's know. here's what I'm about to put on. Here's the um, Cody in the original state. So it comes with the monofilament top. Does not have lace front. It has the open cap system. So you see the open weft. So when you have an open weft system like that, you can literally stick your fingers through it. So you get a lot more breathability for your scalp. So yeah, it's going to be cooler than the XO. So you know you kind of have to have a reason to wear the XO because otherwise you would. The but other. we chose to put it on in the same exact color just to see if it hangs any different because we've never done it. Because typically when they change the cap construction on a style, something always changes. It's never exactly the same. <laughs> what is going on? So this is, we're both uh, have Mochaccino are on, which is a nice medium brown with some highlights. It's got a dark hybrid root. Do we look the same? Um, <laughs> it kind of looks the same. Does it? I, I mean, I feel like I look like you. I feel like my bang is not. I Your mean, bang is flatter. Yeah. So I, that may just be from the box. I don't think it's really from the cap construction because the difference is only right in here at the top of this is the same. I mean, this typically has a flat, flat bang. And so. People that want that flat thing want to sweep it over like so. Then. Let's show them the back. Because this one has these cute it, little wispies down the neck that looks like it has a really good stacked neckline cut into it. So that's this is the selling feature for Corey. I mean, I'm sorry, Cody, because it has that good A line sweep. And it's flat here. Sometimes, you know, those bobs have the fullness down here. This one is pretty sleek everywhere. So it's cute. And there's, yeah, there's obviously, like she said at the beginning, there's more Bob styles. We just wanted to show you what our top sellers are. Um, it doesn't mean they're right for everybody, but for if you want a classic Bob, what I like about um, Cody is it's a good transition if you've had a classic Bob, like if you've been in Ellen and you've had kind of that all one length Bob and now you kind of want to do something a little bit different. So you want to get it a little bit edgier. So you want that angled bob? This is a good wig to transition to, because you can trim the bang more if you want, and um, it trims the bang beautifully. Yeah, I, I've trimmed a bang in this. I don't know how many times. Yeah. And what we do is just kind of direct most of the bulk back, and then come through and just put a little bit of a wisp in here, and um, but it trims the bang great. Yeah, we're about to do a video. In fact, someone commented just either yesterday or today. Um, how we customize Kim's favorite wig, Jolie, which if you've watched any of our videos, you know that is her go-to wig. Um, but one day we're going to do it live. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah, we'll do that. it's going to be a, probably a lengthy video, maybe 25, 30 minutes. But that way you'll know when we keep saying customize and directing this and directing that, you'll know what we're talking about. I mean, not something I'd ever suggest someone do at home. But, I mean... You never know. If someone can't get to a shop where a stylist is and they have some old wigs laying around, you might just want to experiment. Well, and the other thing is, the point of that whole thing is there's always options. So if you are going to plop a wig on your head and expect that you don't have to do anything to it, then you're 
going to look like you're wearing a wig. You've got to make it your own. And for some people, that means just tucking behind their ear. Um, maybe they maybe they do this type of thing, and that's kind of what defines their look. And then other times, it's being able to take a wig and say, okay, I like everything about this, but I wish it had more of a bang. I wish I had more height here. And so there's there's things you can do. So when you're shopping at a salon, make sure that whoever's helping you um, is, a, is a licensed cosmetologist and does only synthetic wigs and they can talk to you about different options that you can do. Yeah, and just beware because I mean, we've, I can't tell you how many stories throughout the years of somebody saying, well, they sold me this and told me I could do this and it, it looks horrible. So just go to someone you can trust. And even if you don't live near us, obviously we can't do it for you, but send us a message and say, this is what I wear and this is what I want, or this is what I'm thinking about wearing. This is what I want. And we'll just be honest and tell you it can or can't be done. And you know, if it can't, maybe we can help you, you know, direct you in a direction to, to find something because it's just, I mean, I know when I came into this thinking, Oh, yeah, I'm a hairstylist. We can do whatever we want to do. If that's mm -hmm. long, we'll make it short. It's just, it just doesn't, doesn't work, work like that. that. Yeah. So. And sometimes when people um, will have a wig that they've, they're trying and they're, they're saying, I want this, this, and this. It's not about customizing. It's like, oh, you just need a different style. Let's try this style because that achieves mm -hmm. your goals uh, that you're trying to meet. Right. Anyway, but yeah, just talk to whoever you're going to and tell them what you want. And with a wig, you ought to be able to achieve any look you want. You really can. I, I just, now my head's spinning because I'm like, I got to have that wig. I can't get over this wig. I need this. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> you just decide what color in Georgia. Georgia's going to take care of me, aren't you, Georgia? I know you'll see this. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I hope if you were affected by the storms on Sunday here in Dallas that everything is going back. I think I think they said 70,000 people are still without power. Yeah, my parents were without power from Sunday to last night. So, um, and that, and in fact, that whole region, there were even office buildings in their area that just did not get power, but um, they worked day and night. They called other agencies to come in and help them. So um, it sounds like we're on the mend. Sounds like it. This is Texas. I'm telling you. It could happen again by the end of the week. Yes. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, once again, if you're watching, two, we have two different live streams going. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you. Um, just make sure that you subscribe and we'll always have a notification. I haven't yet figured out how to automatically do it, but you know, we'll try to send you a notification, let you know we're going live. Facebook, we try to post something. Um, and if you don't have YouTube or have gone to our YouTube page, make sure you go to YouTube and catch us there too. Um, because a lot of things don't cross over. Sometimes I forget to post both places so just find us any way you can give us a call send us a message if you have any questions and give us suggestions of things that um you want to see us do or try and we'll do it can you read that that's jordan's comment oh okay. she comes by her heart. you just wanted me to say it again that i'm hard-headed no i guys anybody that knows me knows i cannot see so when the messages come up i have to depend on missy's young eyes to read them to me because well the only I'm reason a lot older i can see she... it is because it's a distance away if it were right here no i have to have glasses too are you kidding it happened when i turned 40. well wait till you get to 50. well you wouldn't know Things... that would you <laughs> It only gets worse. It doesn't get better. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, anyway, life is good. Thank you for watching. We appreciate your support. We appreciate you, um, your messages, your comments. Um, we just appreciate our audience. We do. We love you guys. You make our job enjoyable. In fact, I don't even like to call it a job. I love Wednesday now. I do too. Yeah. It's like leading up to it. Like I can't sleep on Tuesday next. I'm like, okay, if we haven't already picked a topic, which this week we knew because we announced it last week, but if we haven't picked a topic, I'm like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And I come in here all nervous, but then we always find something to talk about because we like to talk and there's a bunch to talk about. So. Oh, do you know what we're about to get in? Huh? We should be getting our fab fit fun or fit fab fun. I never know how that goes. Oh, okay. Well, are we going to do that again <laughs> where we open the box? I don't think anybody really cares. It's kind of but goofy. it's fun. It's just fun. It is fun. It's tons of fun. To oh, send yourself okay. a he present. loves Wednesday too. You know, she came in. She's so you're so cute. I'm talking like you're not here, which you kind of are, but kind of aren't. She's. I was telling Kim this morning what you told us. She's like, I never missed you guys on Wednesday, and that just made me feel good. Yeah, I'm like, it makes us enjoy what we do. It does. It does. All right. Well, I guess we'll get off here and get to work. Y'all have a wonderful week.
Stay safe out there. All right. Catch you next Wednesday. We'll be uploading a video in the next day or two of a review. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but stay tuned. All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Uh, are we sure we want to end? <laughs>